Did you know that a fish from China is quietly transforming the global food industry? Tilapia, a fish that was once just another name on the menu, is now at the center of a global food revolution. Its delicate flavor, tender meat, and high nutritional value have made it a favorite on dining tables from New York to Tokyo, London to Sydney. In fact, tilapia's popularity is growing so rapidly that it's becoming one of the fastest growing fish markets worldwide. But what's the secret behind its rise? Why is China, a country known for its massive aquaculture industry, leading the charge in tilapia farming? At Infinite Farming, we delve into the stories behind the food that shapes our world. Today, we're diving into the fascinating journey of tilapia. From village ponds, to dining tables across five continents. So, grab a seat and let's explore what makes tilapia one of the most surprising success stories in the global food industry. In 2023, the global tilapia market reached a massive $10.2 billion, with North America and Europe alone contributing around $3.5 billion. This rapid growth is impressive, but what's even more interesting is the annual consumption growth rate which stands at 4.8%. This outpaces many other food categories and reflects tilapia's expanding global popularity. Once a fish primarily consumed in Asia and parts of Africa, it has now spread far and wide, becoming a staple on menus in major cities worldwide. One of the most notable contributors to this growth is China. While other countries also produce tilapia, China has become the dominant player in the global market, controlling an astounding 68% of global tilapia exports. This number speaks volumes about China's leadership in the tilapia industry and its ability to meet the demands of an ever-growing global appetite for this fish. But how did China manage to establish such a commanding position in the aquaculture industry? The answer lies in innovation, technology, and a focus on efficiency. China's tilapia farmers didn't just rely on traditional farming techniques, they embraced new technologies that have transformed how tilapia is farmed, processed, and exported. China's rise as a tilapia powerhouse can be credited to its adoption of advanced farming technologies. Traditional fish farming techniques were good enough for small-scale operations, but to meet the demand from international markets, China needed a more efficient and scalable solution. This is where technological innovation came in. One of the key breakthroughs in Chinese tilapia farming is the use of recirculating aquaculture systems, RAS. These systems allow fish to be farmed in a controlled environment where water is constantly filtered and recycled reducing the need for fresh water and enabling fish to be farmed in higher densities. By using RAS, China can produce more tilapia while minimizing the environmental impact. In fact, these systems use up to 85% less water than traditional farming methods, which is crucial given the increasing concerns about water scarcity. In addition to RAS, automation and artificial intelligence AI, are also playing a pivotal role in the modernization of tilapia farming. Drones, sensors, and AI-powered systems are used to monitor and optimize nearly every aspect of the fish farming process. From water quality to fish behavior, every variable is carefully controlled to ensure the health of the fish and the efficiency of the operation. AI can even make decisions about feeding schedules, water quality adjustments, and fish health interventions, all based on real-time data. But China didn't stop at improving the farming process. They also turned to genetic engineering to optimize tilapia breeds. By creating fast-growing strains of tilapia, they've been able to increase production rates and meet the increasing global demand. These genetically engineered fish grow 1.8 times faster than traditional tilapia breeds, reducing the time required to reach market size and improving the efficiency of the entire farming process. Speaking of genetic engineering, it's one of the most exciting areas of progress in China's tilapia farming industry. Through the use of genetic editing and selective breeding, scientists have been able to create tilapia strains that are not only faster growing, but also more resilient to diseases and environmental stresses. 
These advances are critical for ensuring the long-term sustainability of tilapia farming. For example, genetically modified tilapia can thrive in harsher conditions, such as higher temperatures or lower oxygen levels, which are common in aquaculture environments. This adaptability makes the farming process more reliable, even as global climate conditions continue to change. Moreover, the use of genetic engineering has significantly reduced the need for antibiotics in tilapia farming. By selecting for disease-resistant fish strains, China has been able to reduce antibiotic use by 30%. This is a huge win for both the environment and consumer health, as it means the fish being produced is not only healthier, but also more eco-friendly. These innovations are part of a larger trend in the aquaculture industry, where technology and biotechnology are being used to create more efficient, sustainable, and scalable farming practices. While China's high-tech farming methods are undoubtedly impressive, they haven't completely replaced traditional farming techniques. Many small-scale tilapia farmers in rural China still rely on pond farming methods that have been used for generations. These farmers take advantage of natural water sources and large spaces in rural areas, keeping costs low and minimizing the need for high-tech equipment. Despite the simplicity of these methods, small-scale farmers are not stuck in the past. They too are adopting new techniques and improving their practices. For example, they use advanced water management systems to ensure that water quality remains stable, and they feed their fish high-quality feed to ensure optimal growth. These traditional methods, when combined with modern innovations, create a strong and resilient tilapia farming industry in China, capable of meeting diverse market needs, both domestically and internationally. This balance between traditional and modern methods is what makes China's tilapia industry so powerful. The diversity of farming practices ensures that every type of consumer demand is met, from low-cost local products to high-quality tech-driven farmed fish. Let's break down the process of tilapia farming in China, step by step, so you can see exactly how this fish goes from a hatchery to your dining table. Stage 1. Breed Selection The first step in the process is the careful selection of tilapia breeds. This is where genetic engineering comes into play. Breeding centers use gene editing technology to create superior parent fish lines. These fish are then bred to produce high-quality fingerlings that are ready to be raised in carefully controlled environments. Stage 2. Maturation Once the fingerlings have been raised to an appropriate size, they are moved to large grow-out ponds or advanced RAS systems. This is where the magic of automation and AI happens. Feeding schedules are adjusted based on real-time data about fish health and growth rates ensuring that the fish are growing as efficiently as possible while minimizing environmental impact. Stage 3. Ideal Environment Water quality is critical in tilapia farming, and large-scale farms in China use automated systems to maintain optimal water conditions. pH levels, dissolved oxygen, and temperature are all constantly monitored and adjusted to ensure the fish remain healthy and grow at their best rate. For small-scale farmers, this process might rely more on experience and intuition, but the principles remain the same. Stage 4. Harvesting After six to eight months, the tilapia are ready for harvest. This is a delicate process as the fish must be carefully handled to ensure the meat stays fresh and high quality. Larger farms use modern equipment to harvest the fish, while smaller farms may still rely on manual labor for this step. Stage 5. Processing and Export after harvesting, the fish are taken to processing plants where they are cleaned, filleted, and packaged. The processed fish are then stored in cold storage and shipped to major markets, such as Europe and the United States. To ensure the quality and safety of the fish, Blockchain tracking systems are used, allowing consumers to trace the fish from the farm to their dinner plates. Tilapia's rise in popularity isn't just due to its nutritional value and ease of farming, it's also because of how versatile it is in the kitchen. In Asian cuisines, tilapia is often deep-fried, grilled, or steamed with aromatic herbs like lemongrass and chili, 
creating a rich and flavorful dish that's perfect for any occasion. In Western kitchens, tilapia is typically prepared more lightly. It's often pan-seared with butter and lemon, or oven-baked with vegetables, showcasing its mild flavor. The fish's versatility has even led to the creation of fusion dishes. In Mexico, tilapia is used in tacos, while in Japan, it makes for a delicious sushi roll. This adaptability in cooking styles has made tilapia a global favorite, with countless recipes that cater to a wide range of palates. Tilapia's global journey from humble village ponds to becoming one of the most popular fish in the world is a testament to the power of innovation and tradition working together. China's advanced farming techniques, coupled with its use of biotechnology, have solidified its position as the world's leading tilapia producer and exporter. As the demand for tilapia continues to grow, China's success story offers a glimpse into the future of sustainable aquaculture. With its superior flavor, high nutritional value, and adaptability in the kitchen, tilapia is not just a food trend, it's a vital part of the global food system. Thank you for watching and remember to like this video if you enjoyed it. For more fascinating insights into the world of modern farming, subscribe to Infinite Farming and stay tuned for our next video. Until then, keep exploring and learning with us. See you next time.